We've all had our fair share of wardrobe malfunctions, right? Now imagine having it in front of thousands of spectators in an Olympic match. Mortifying. But hey, it happens to the best of us. And we're here to tell you exactly who it happened with so we can all get our daily dose of secondhand embarrassment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment at the end. First up, splits and seams may break these routines. When you think about it, it makes perfect sense that the Olympics have a long history of costume malfunctions. The world's top athletes are running, jumping, twisting, and turning in all kinds of superhero-like ways. And, yep, sometimes their clothes fall apart, which isn't a big problem because it happens to the best of us, and, well, it's happened with several celebrities on the red carpet as well. During the Winter Olympics, ice dancers' wardrobes frequently malfunction to the point where a whole staff of seamstresses is on call to fix costumes. To start with, take French ice dancer Gabriella Papadakis, for example. She had a pretty major wardrobe malfunction when the top of her costume came undone while performing at the Winter Olympics in 2018, but she did not let it stop her from dominating the routine. Then during the 1984 Winter Olympics, ice dancer Sergei Ponomarenko experienced a similar wardrobe mishap when his uniform split open, exposing his tummy. In all honesty, we're kinda digging this style. Siblings who skate together apparently get wardrobe malfunctions together during their performance at the 2014 Winter Olympics. Siblings Alex and Maya Shibutani experienced a joint wardrobe malfunction when their costumes actually got caught together and tore Maya's tights, truly giving the term sibling bond a whole new meaning. And when the hook holding Yura Min's entire costume costume together came undone, she was competing on the ice during the 2018 Winter Olympics. Our question is, why are you guys wearing such risky outfits? Also, are y'all seeing a pattern with ice skaters? Let's jump to some other sports for some rips. At the London 2012 Olympics, rower Henrik Rummel gained notoriety due to his, uh, bulge. He didn't mind, but what about his wife? Yeah, she did. According to Rummel, while he took it kind of tongue-in-cheek, his wife didn't appreciate it. She took to the fact that everyone was talking about that and not about his winning an Olympic medal. Well, can we blame them? But hear this. Henrik Harlot, a skier, actually lost his pants at the 2014 Winter Olympics. Yup, they completely left his body. He didn't appear overly concerned, though, based on the photos. The mistake made by Russian speed skater Olga Graf was deliberate. Well, almost. She only needed some fresh air, so she had to unzip herself. It's just that she took it too far. In an interview, she confessed to having forgotten that this was a bodysuit, which in her defense was super tight and made it hard to breathe. The skater knew she'd end up on YouTube videos though, so kudos to that. Speaking of pants and zippers, 2010 Olympics bobsled competitor Jillian Cook experienced some problems with hers when they split open. She joked, it's a fantastic way to break the ice, especially with the new team members. It always gets a laugh. We're glad she took it in great stride. Not so sure how traumatized the others were that day. Don't go anywhere, we've got more Olympic malfunctions ahead. It takes blood, sweat, and tears. British diver Tom Delaney lost his pants on television as his suit was tugged down in the water. In a YouTube video, he said he was extremely embarrassed. Naturally, but what can you do? Good thing no one saw a lot since there were so many bubbles in the water. It would be difficult to talk about the most awful wardrobe gaffes and not bring up Ekaterina Rubleva, whose entire boob was left hanging out on the ice. This is the last ice dancer on our list, we swear. The Russian skater was competing at the 2009 European Championship which were held in Helsinki, Finland, with her partner Ivan Sheffer. Rubleva's clothing mishap happened in the middle of a twirl, as we have seen so many times before. She turned around, lowering her backless dress as she did so, then lower and lower. Well, a lot was exposed by the time she was finished with her turn, which was likely made well worse by the fact that she had to raise her arms while skating. She struggled to maintain her smile, and she continues skating. Sadly, photos of the tragedy were released by news organizations, including the Daily Mail, giving the incident more life and exposure. There hasn't been much improvement on what female ice skaters are expected to wear when they compete in the nearly 15 years since Rubleva's clothing let her down. Comparatively, male skaters nearly never have cutouts, let alone small clasps and ribbons connecting essential pieces together. They also typically have complete sleeves, a full back, and no cutouts. This reeks of patriarchy. There's no more junk in the trunk. Over the years, there have been several wrestling costume mishaps, but they're often quite mid. 
A lot of men have had their bottoms unexpectedly revealed in the ring, usually when someone grabbed them and pulled them down with a clutch of trunks. But there's been also a lot of deliberate butt displays that the whole thing looks quite uninteresting. It's definitely happened more than once. Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson, made quite a mark as one victim of an infamous wardrobe malfunction. He's competed hundreds of times over the course of his decades-long career as a wrestler, but his fight against Drew Gulak in 2020 at Philadelphia's Wells Fargo Center will undoubtedly stick in his memory. Gulak attempted to steal Brian's trunks as he flung his opponent over the ropes during the bout by grabbing hold of them. He adjusted them so much in the process that Brian's crown jewels were visible, and as if that wasn't enough, it happened a second time later in the same match. Move over Twilight, this guy did New Moon first. We don't understand why professional athletes didn't stroll about in their undies all the time because otherwise, what's the point of their bodies being so toned? And again, in the middle of a sporting event is probably not the best place. Even people who feel comfortable going nude probably want the freedom to select when and where it happens. That's the beauty of clothing mishaps. They humble you. That's probably especially true if you're a rider like Blake Shin because most of the time you're competing, your butt is literally up in the air. The incident happened to Shin while he was riding Miss Royale at the Canterbury track during the first race of the day. His pants came down early in the marathon, leaving his bum hanging in the air. By the way, his main concern was finishing first in the race, not the Pants. Despite this happening in 2015, it continues to receive media attention and has garnered over 1.7 million views on YouTube. And sometimes, it went too far. The level of Chris Jones' exposure in contrast to the majority of the athletes on this list was far more than just a breast or a bare bum when he had what can only be described as a major clothing mishap. During the 40-meter dash of the 2016 NFL Combine, the Kansas City Chiefs player had a very terrible accident. He fell to the ground, and as a result of this, his entire package, the meat and potatoes, if you will, fell out of his running shorts, but not before it was photographed and shared online. In an afterward interview, Jones made an appeal to the other players to wear briefs for the love of God. You don't want that kind of experience to appear on your resume. Even though Jones himself was sporting boxers rather than briefs, he told reporters that he would do it in the same way if given the chance. Really though, you wouldn't change anything? Some people never learn. This incident makes us think of Slovakian marathon Joseph Urban, who is well known for being plastered online due to a similar malfunction in which his junk was made visible near the finish of his run. Boys, go for the briefs. Male swimmers typically wear Speedos because despite any modesty issues, they are excellent for enhancing swimming speed. When competing, a male swimmer would occasionally opt to wear a bodysuit identical to what women wear. Ricky Behrens did this in 2009 when he took part in the World Swimming Championships. In a qualifying round for the 4x100 meter relay, Behrens tore his suit just as he approached the starting line. He was left exposed to everyone as his suit split in half all due to a simple stretch. From his back, all all the way down to his buttocks and through the front. And if you've seen the images, they are not awful. Fans weren't exactly complaining, but Barron's was a very young college student, and we can't imagine how embarrassed he felt about the situation. In 2013, he referred to it as, as his most embarrassing situation and claimed that putting on the costume required 30 minutes. Funny how it took even less than 30 seconds to crack open. Pun slightly intended. That's a wrap for this video. What's the worst clothing mishap you've witnessed in the Olympics? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.